Good morning, guys. Shout out to all of my super enlightened, also progressive, amazing, smarter than everybody, highly intellectual, and above all, never wrong, postmodernist progressives. Whatever happened to the burqa being not okay, guys? Not only not okay, but definitely not okay in your enlightened Western countries. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Why is the burqa all of a sudden okay? And even mandatory. <laughs> so while a lot of you thought you were exporting your democracy and freedom to these Middle Eastern countries, little did you know they were actually bringing their customs to yours. And this has never been more obvious than now, has it? Little do you know, when the Berlin Wall fell, it wasn't because communism was abolished, destroyed, and eliminated. No, 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 no. Those walls that held it confined fell, and it spread everywhere, infecting every country in the world, it would seem. That's what happened. So why is the burqa all of a sudden, okay, even mandatory in all these countries amongst all these people who were so against it, seemingly? Well, because postmodernism, right? Because there is no truth. People don't have any values. They just say whatever the TV tells them to say. They just go with whatever the fashion is. Forget herd immunity. It's all about herd mentality. Whatever's clever, whatever's fashionable, and apparently right now it's the burqa. Well, that's what we vote for, right? What's going on, Westerners? How did you ever allow this to happen? Exposing yourself yet again as a damn hypocrite. And no, there is no difference between this. I mean, okay, fine. The slight difference that there may be there is that some of these men in some of these Muslim countries, hashtag not all, because they couldn't control their own sexuality or refuse to take responsibility for their own sexual urges, they decided to control the sexuality of women, right? They told their women, you better cover up your sexuality or I'm going to rape you because I can't help myself, right? That's essentially what this comes down to, right? Women were somehow impure, dirty, and... Their sexuality would somehow spread like a virus through society and, and destroy society from inside out. So they, they had to put a cap on it, right? They had to cover it up. They had to control women's sexuality because they weren't willing to take responsibility for theirs. And you have the same thing happening right now. In all these enlightened, western, smarter than everybody and so much more virtuous countries. Because people are unwilling to take responsibility for their own health. If you do think that the invisible enemy is out there to get you, right? Do what it is you got to do to protect yourself. But no. Instead of doing that, these people want to go out in public. Where the en invisible enemy is attacking everybody indiscriminately, right? They want to go to restaurants. They want to go shopping. They want to drive their cars. They want to live their lives. But, you know, if you truly are afraid and think there's some kind of an invisible enemy out there to get you, stay the bleep at home, right? Stay home. Take responsibility for yourself. Wear a hazmat suit. Put your burqa on. But don't tell me I have to do it because my body, my choice, right? Whatever happened to that? You don't have any values. You never did. You just go with the flow, whatever's clever, and the herd mentality. There is no truth in this world. It's just my truth and your truth and all this other nonsense. That's, it's these postmodernist ideas. See, this is why I've been telling you guys for years. That the most important thing is to tell the truth. And then everything will be okay. Just tell the truth. Right? Because if what you were saying, i.e., my body, my choice, was really true, 
those were your true feelings, you wouldn't have changed your mind right now. Right? But you were lying. You were lying. And it's only in this sort of dishonest milieu that slavery could exist, that our rights could be taken away because people aren't honest. Because if you are honest from the get-go that you didn't believe in that, my body, my choice, well, America would have bombed your ass. Bada! Right? <laughs> oh, so sad and pathetic, man. This is so sad and pathetic. People who aren't willing to take responsibility for themselves are telling other people that they have to, that it's your duty to protect them, right? Now, this sort of thing, I mean, what, what does that mean? What does that imply? What that means, since pathogens will always be out there, that means that you will forever have to wear your burqa. You're going to have to stop driving because, you know, you're endangering people by driving. They can drive, but you can't. I don't understand. I don't understand how, how this works, how people justify this to themselves. I really don't. But the one thing I do know is that most people in this world are nothing but a bunch of damn liars. They don't have any values, and they're constantly deceiving and lying. My position has never changed. Nobody has the right to tell you to wear a burqa, but if you want to wear one, be my guest. And that's the truth. Thank you for watching.